get the babies. Dear Lord, pray for their souls. Now at five, team coverage of a tragic accident that claimed the lives of 10-month-old twin girls. Jeremiah Patrick, our Jeremiah Marshall and Patrick Johnstone working the story all day long and will join us shortly. But first, that crash taking place around 1230 Sunday afternoon in Jim Wells County. Here's what investigators with the Department of Public Safety say happened. The mother, Krista Ramos, driving the family car about two miles northwest of Orange Grove. That's when investigators believe she had some type of seizure, causing her to step on the gas pedal. The car then veering off the road, hitting two fences, then engulfed in flames. As the owner of the property of where it happened rushed to get to the car and got Ramos and a five-year-old child out. Sadly, he did all he could but couldn't rescue the 10-month-old twin girls. Jalen and Zariah Rhodes died at the scene. In this Chris Six exclusive, our Jeremiah Marshall spoke with the man who pulled the mother and son out of the vehicle and did all he could to save the girls. He joins us live near the scene of the accident tonight. And Jeremiah, this story is just heartbreaking for everyone and of course for this man as well. Yeah, heartbreaking indeed, Paul. And if you take a look over here, you can kind of see the orange markings of where the driver came and skid here. And if you take a look at the very end of the corner, that is where you see that black grass. That is where it all took place. Take a look. I put out the first, the lady, and then you couldn't see inside the car. And I heard a, a boy, and I put him out. And she said his sister were inside the car. And I and I I couldn't unless the the car seat. Juan Galan says he heard a big bang and rushed outside. Galan says that's when he saw the flames and thick smoke. He rushed to the vehicle to help. Wife Pamela Galan says minutes felt like hours. And um, I took the little boy and walked way over here. I didn't want him next to the fire, and he was very scared and looked at me and said, "My sisters are dying." Nearby resident Charity Christensen says she got a frantic call from her teenage daughter who was so close to the fatal crash at a friend's house. Hearing little babies involved and just children in general, you know, we have four kids here and, you know, you can't help but just really get tore up and just really, really, really be impacted at home because, you know, tomorrow is never promised. This just happened. Somebody went through our fence and there's two babies trapped inside and one pulled out a little boy in and the driver, but we couldn't get the babies. The Galan say fire crews came to the scene, but they tried to do as much as they could to help, but they say this will never be a day they will forget. I was just in disbelief. I, I couldn't believe that and I was worried. I wanted to get the babies out and the fire just went so fast, so fast we couldn't get the babies out and it was just so horrific. I was pulling on those uh, car seats and I couldn't get them out. To stand there and watch them burn in front of you is something that you would never want to go through. And the Golans also say that they would continue to pick up the pieces and clean up of what has been left. Reporting here on Jennifer's Loop here in Orange Grove, Jeremiah Marshall, Chris, 6 News. Paul? And Jeremiah, before you go, it's just so difficult to even hear this, see the pictures, let alone try to comprehend it all. Uh, if you could tell us more about the Good Samaritan. I mean, he must be going through a lot right now, reliving that scene over and over again. Some people even calling him a hero right now. Exactly. And there, that's one thing that we did talk about is that, you know, some people might call you a hero, Mr. Gallon. And he was able to tell me that, no, it's not a hero. It's just something that he, that he had to do. He had to spring into action and help these people. He did all he could. Jeremiah Marshall, they're reporting at that tragic scene.